Hello my soccer universe. Yeah, kind of busy because I'm going to the Europa League game. Uh, Thursday evening, so I'm not sure if I will get the Champions League and the Europa League uh, roundups for the week out by Friday. So let's quickly bridge you over with what to watch because we'll have a quite a big weekend with quite some big clashes on there but on the other side they almost all happen at the same time so let's have a look first one of course is in Spain the Classico Sunday March 1st probably a title decider could be or oh, will it be another draw remains to be seen if it will be a draw I think Atletico Madrid will also play <laughs> a Barcelona team uh, could catch up but I think we all know it's between Barcelona and Real Madrid I have a feeling Barcelona if they get a win, that will be it for the title. But we have to see. Uh, we also have Valencia, Real Betis. That sounds like an interesting matchup. Uh, Sevilla, Osasuna could be something in there. But you know, uh, we have to see. There's also, yeah, not too many uh, exciting matches. But I think some week you see the two matches postponed, namely uh, Aston Villa and Manchester City against Arsenal, which probably is the big matchup in that round but it won't happen this weekend because as we'll see they will play another game um in the premier league if i look other than that watford liverpool nope everton manchester united that sounds like a big one spurs against wolves could be also an interesting one there and it's also more towards sunday but as i said uh aston Villa, manchester city of course play the league cup final sunday um late afternoon that's why i'm wearing city they're the only team that can actually win of the teams that I have that can actually win a trophy. Um, Bundesliga, yeah, uh, again, such a, it's a so and so round. I think Köln Schalke would have been way more interesting if Schalke would have been much better. Uh, it sounds like a good matchup, but currently isn't. I think the big one is, of course, Leipzig against Leverkusen. Uh, that is a big one. Bayern has to uh, get points at Hoffenheim. If you're looking more towards relegation, Düsseldorf Hertha is a huge, huge matchup. Dortmund Freiburg should should be uh, easy three points for uh, Dortmund if you look as of late, but I don't think it will be all that easy. Now I was would be very pumped about the Serie A weekend if there wasn't the uh, coronavirus and most of the games will be behind closed doors especially ones in northern Italy uh, like Milan will for sure be played behind closed doors and the same thing is true for the big one Juve Inter a match that I've been looking for for a long time unfortunately it also happens at the same time as the Classico and then in addition it's behind closed doors so I think everything is geared for me towards the Classico it's an important game because we really will would know in this game if Inter is for real or not. So not sure how much it will tell us. Um, other than that, I have to say uh, Lazio opens up the round against Bologna, so they can put already some pressure on Juve, which I think is nice the way this is uh, made. And probably they will have a home uh, game. Uh, Atalanta at Lecce is also interesting. Cagliari Roma. Um, yeah, Cagliari is unfortunately not all that great anymore. Um, another derby in France is between Lyon and Saint Etienne, um, but uh, it's clear that Lyon are favourites in that one. Uh, other than that, I have to say again, in France, rather even Nantes Lille, I think is probably the standout tie uh, in there. Um, given that Nantes just beat Marseille, it could be interesting to see if not now can get themselves back into contention. Uh, we have one more huge game and I think one more uh, that is actually playing at the same time almost as the Classico and the Derby d'Italia, this is Ajax at Z. It starts an hour before the Classico so you can watch maybe the first half there. Uh, that's in a pretty big game already because Ajax uh, a draw will probably keep them at bay but you know Z could draw level and given that both of them play Europa League with not so easy ties will be interesting. PSV uh, of course plays also home to Feyenoord which is another pretty big matchup because this is uh, th um, fourth against third and maybe 
not likely, but maybe one of these could go back into uh, the Champions League uh, race. And I want to uh, finish it as always with Austria. I mean, there are other leagues are interesting matchups as well, but I think those are the interesting ones. And Austria will always get from me. Everything is played at the same time. It's one of the last runs of the uh, first where they still all play against her before we separate the league. The big tie Sturm against Austria. Um, but you know, Sturm is more or less through. Um, Lars Kartberg, yeah, could be something in there. But I think we know already who the big six will be. If Hartberg should lose and Austria should win, then Austria is still in the running. So that's what to watch uh, this weekend. Let me know what you'll be watching. I think it's all gears to a Sunday late. That I have to say. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.